Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're looking at Google tricks again. We've done previous videos where we've shown you some nice little features that are in Google. This is another video part three where we're going to learn some more tricks. So let's go look at them. The first one is maybe in a classroom you want to get a random number. Maybe you're doing a little thing and off the, off the cuff you would just want to quickly do a random number to find maybe a random student on a list. Um, you can just type in random number into Google and you will get this automatic random number generator where you can have the biggest and smallest number specified there. So let's say I've got a class of 30 students and I go from 1 to 30 and I can ask it to generate a random number from 1 to 30. And you can obviously have this on your screen, you can click on it multiple times and this is a way that you can generate a random number. Maybe you want to generate a random number from 10 to 30 then you can do something like this. So there we go. So that's a nice little random number generator that is quite a useful tool in Google. Now another tool that you could use, maybe you want to generate random number, but I want, want to do it in the form of a dice, for example. So let's say we want to roll a die, for example. So roll a die, dice is a plural, roll a die or dice. So yeah, we've got a random dice generator and you can see we've got a six sided dice that tells you what the total is and you can roll it multiple times to go see what it's like. Um, and you can get all sorts of different dice here. You can get like a, a, I think that is a four sided dice. You get an eight sided, 10, 12, 20. So if you want to use this one instead, um, just take note if you click on it, it actually adds it. So you can actually have both of these in your roll. So you can, that's quite nifty if you want to get a 20 sided dice and a six sided dice together in one. But if you want to have multiple, you can just keep clicking on it and you've got multiple now. Um, but maybe you just want one 20 sided. Then you can just click on the other ones just to get rid of them. And now I've just got a 20 sided dice that I'm rolling over here. So there we go. You can add multiplies as well, or little things where you could add numbers onto the number that you've got. Um, but there we go. So those are the key features of your dice that you want to roll. So that's roll a die if you want to roll a dice. Now, the other example of randomness that you could be using in your class, maybe you want to flip a coin and you don't actually have a coin on you. You can just type in flip a coin. And there we go. We've got this whole little coin over here, right here, and we can, it's preparing to flip and it's flipping for us. And you can flip it again and it tells us heads and tails. So maybe there's a, a program uh, or a lesson you're doing on statistics and that and you want to use a coin or flipping a coin for the statistics. You can do this and use this as part of your demonstration. It's quite nice because you can actually have this on your projector or wherever you're displaying to the students and you can use this in the middle of your lesson. And then the last one that I'm going to show you is the spinner. Now, sometimes you want to spin a wheel, so we can type spinner, and we get this lovely little spinner that we've got over here. So you can spin the wheel. So there we go. You've got a random little spinner. You can obviously change it from a uh, number to a fidget spinner. For those of you who remember fidget spinners, if I can go, there we go. I don't know why you would use this in lesson, but you can obviously keep yourself busy. If you're a virtual fidget spinner. But let's go back to the number. So you've got a little number. Maybe you want to change the wheel size to a different, however many numbers you want. It only goes up to 20 in this case. But maybe you want to use this type of dynamic for generating your random number. So that's a nice little spin the wheel option that you could have in your classroom. There we go. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. So there we go. So all of these little random options are nice for you. Um, if you don't, if you only remember one of them, that's fine. Just remember one of these little tips that we showed you because if you click on this little arrow here, you'll get a whole, you'll get all of them over here. A lot of extra things like the calculator. There's the roll, the die, the flip, the coin. Um, there's a tuner. There's even a color picker. So all of these little options are here for you if you need to. So those are our random Google tips and tricks. Now, from our previous videos on Google search tricks and tips, uh, we made this little poster which you can use as a handout or print them for your classroom if you remember correctly. Um, if you're not, go to our video on these, on, I think it's part one and part two. Now, we've added a third page just to add, we've updated it. We'll put this a link to it in the video description below. We've added the document search and search on a site which you would have seen in a previous video. If you haven't, go check that one out too. And then that's what we did today with the roll the die, the random numbers, the flip a coin and the spinner. So we've added these to your little uh, Google search tricks so you can update your posters or add new worksheets for your fellow teachers. More links and resources will be in the video description below. Please go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, share us with your fellow teachers so that we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.